Welcome back sa aking channel. Ito ulit si Malaya. So for today, I will be reviewing a product from Maybelline which is Super Stay Full Coverage Powder Foundation. So ito is another product from its Super Stay line. Ito yung liquid foundation and yung mga lipstick which I don't have. I believe this product has been around for a while na in the US and in some other countries. Pero dito sa Philippines, it's a new release. Siguro mga one week pa lang siya or two weeks. Yan. And it's available only in Lazada for 499 pesos. So if gusto nyong malaman kung maganda ba tong powder na to, then samahan nyo ako sa video na to. Bago tayo magpatuloy sa aking video, please huwag kalimutan mag-like at mag-subscribe! Yung packaging niya is uh, halos same siya dun sa liquid foundation nito na white. Ito plastic siya. Pag inopen ko siyang ganun, andun yung product nito. Tapos, meron siyang mirror dun sa loob at saka meron siyang kasamang sponge. Sa Lazada, it's available in 5 shades. Yun lang yung downside niya kasi napaka-limited ng mga shades na available. Like, for example, sa akin, ang shade ko sa Maybelline Fit Me at saka dun sa Super Stay Foundation na liquid is 128. Pero dito sa powder, walang 128. 115 yung lightest shade and then jump siya agad sa 222 which is this one. So, I'm not sure if ito yung shade ko. Hopefully, mag-match naman siya. Babasahin ko lang na mabilis yung mga claims niya. So, it says that it's a full coverage powder foundation with lasting matte and shine-free finish. It's up to 24-hour wear. Ito mga mental foundation ng 24 hours. Lightweight and comfortable, fade-resistant, long-lasting oil control. At the end of this video, we will find out kung totoo lahat ng mga kiniklaim nila. Or kacharutan lang yun. Hindi na ako naglagay ng primer or concealer kasi I wanna test this product on its own. Kung baga all-in-one because I don't have much time to do all those steps. Gusto ko isang ganun lang, tapos na, alis na. And hopefully, ma-meet niya ang aking expectations. So, diretso na tayo sa application. Ang gagawin natin application for today, itong side ng face na to, gagamitin natin yung sponge. And on the other side, gagamitin natin ay brush. Asa na yung brush? So, kung gagamitin siyang ganun, tapos i-flip pa siyang ganun para makita siya. Inconvenient na siya. Sana nilagay na lang nila dito sa harapan. Ayan. Nagkaroon ako ng hormonal acne. Kuha na lang ng ibang mirror. Dahil... Tignan natin kung cover niya yung pimple ko dito. Okay, so ito na siya. Sabi, ang claims niya is full coverage. I don't think it is full coverage. Siguro medium coverage siya. Kasi yung like pimple ko dito, kita pa rin siya. Although natakpan yung redness niya, nandito pa rin siya. And then, yung dito din, isusong ko siya mamaya para makita niyo. Care lang yung eye bags. Hindi naman siya masyadong dark na. So, ilalagay ko na muna yung other side before ako mag-comment. Palagay ko, mas marami kayong coverage na makukuha using the sponge compared to the brush. Side na to, if makikita nyo, para lang siyang skin na maganda. Whereas, on this side, ganun din naman, skin na maganda pero slightly heavier yung itsura niya. It's more coverage. Gagamitin ko ulit yung sponge para dagdagan ko lang ng konting coverage dito to see if it's buildable. Nasa medium coverage siya, we will see if kaya niyang maabot to full coverage since yun ang kiniklaim niya.
i-close up ko para makita nyo siya. Ayan, sandan nyo. So, yung dito sa may forehead, meron ako ditong mga scars. So, hindi sila natakpan. Nandun pa rin sila. And then, napansin ko, nung binild up ko siya dito, nung tinry ko i-build up yung coverage niya, nagdagdag ako ng isa pang layer, di ba? So, nagkaroon siya ng mga bumps-bumps dito na I never even knew I had. Ayan. So, na-accentuate niya lalo yung mga bumps na meron ako. Tapos, ah, dito din. Ayan. Dito, mukha siyang natural. Parang skin lang talaga siya. Ayan. Yung pimple ko nandiyan pa rin. Tapos, if you can see on the camera, eto, meron ako si mga konting texture dito. Ayan. So, mas lalong na-emphasize yung textures. Even dito, 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 dito. Uh, dito, konti. Oh my God. Oo nga. Dito, yung kaninang nilagyan ko ng uh, nilagyan ko ng foundation with sponge. Ayan. O, medyo okay siya. Yung build up ko dito na nilagyan ko ng second layer. Nagkaroon siya ng mga lines-lines. Texture na hindi maganda. So, palagay ko, hindi siya buildable. Hanggang doon lang talaga yung, yung coverage na. The more you add, the more texture your skin will get. So, I don't advise na nadagdagan nyo or patungan nyo ng another layer. So, siguro isang thin layer lang, then solve na. If you want siguro nadagdagan ng coverage, then you can use uh, a concealer underneath it or foundation, then you can set it with this powder to add more coverage. Pero, this one on its, on its own, if you have a lot of blemishes to hide, then I don't think you will like this very much. And it's not as full coverage as they claim. And, yun dito. So I will do the rest of my face and I will come back to share more thoughts on this one. So I am back. Ayan, ang initial impression ko sa powder na to, uh, very lightweight siya. Parang wala akong suot na foundation at all. Tapos, hindi din siya nagtatransfer. Wala. Tapos, uh, sabi dito, it's matte finish. Pero, I don't think it's matte. Kasi, para siyang, I don't know, natural finish. Ano tawag doon? Natural finish. Kasi, parang skin pa rin siya. Tapos, merong pagka-dewy pa rin siya dito. May pagka-luminous. Uh, maganda siya sa skin so far. Except lang dito sa mga area dito. Pero, all in all naman, hindi naman na siya masama so far. Feeling ko maganda siyang pang everyday foundation. But we will see. It's now 7 in the morning. 7.23. By the way, hindi nga pala ako nag-powder. Hindi ako nag-setting spray. So that I will see yung, yung performance ng powder on its own. So I'll be checking in in a couple of hours to show you how the powder is doing on my face. And hopefully, matapos ko yung 10 hour para makita natin yung, uh, yung uh, effect niya all throughout the day. I will be back. So, ito yung itsura niya under natural lighting. It is now 11 in the morning. I don't know if you can see it, but it's starting to get oily here. Here, here, and here. It's not like dewy oily, but it's oily oily. If I'll try to show that to you. It's so oily. Look at how big my pores are. So now I'm nervous for the next coming hours. So if it's just four hours now and it's looking so greasy, how much more at the 10th hour? We will see. The time is now 4 p.m. I think this will be my last um, check-in. So it's how many hours is that? Nine hours, I think. Uh, I don't think I can go until 10 hours because I feel so greasy. Like, greasy. Frying pan greasy. So... Nakikita nyo ba kung gaano ka greasy? Combination ng aking um, skin type. Ngayon lang ako nag-oil ng ganito sa buong 
buhay ko. Hindi ako nag para makita natin talaga yung capability or ability ng Maybelline founder. Founder? Maybelline foundation. Ito yung pinakamalaking size ng pores sa talambuhay ng pores ko. Super oily. Kung ako na hindi oily, ganito na yung itsura niya. Lalo na pa yung mga oily people. So, I don't know kung ano yung kakalabasan nila pag ginamit nila itong so, magpublot muna ako para maging presentable ako ng konti. And then, I will give my final thoughts on this product. Ayan, ang masasabi ko sa product na to, siguro pros, pros muna tayo. Cheap siya. Cheap, affordable. Uh, another pro is, it's very easy to use. Like, ganun-ganun lang. And then, um, ano pa? Ah, yung shade niya pala sa akin is, I think okay naman siya. Light siya ng konti. Pero okay na. It's not, it's not that bad. Um, another pro, pro niya is, very, uh, ano siya, lightweight siya. Muk at mukha siyang skin. Except dito sa mga few areas. Sa cons na tayo, first na con is, shade range, lima lang ang meron. So, yun. Second is yung packaging. Hindi siya sturdy. Yan, parang pag na nabalabag ko siya ng ganun, wasak na siya. Hindi siya nakaka-minimize ng pores. Lalong lumaki yung mga pores ko dito at lalong nagkaroon ako ng mga baku-baku dito. Tapos hindi siya full coverage like kiniklaim nila. Medium coverage siya. Isa pang con niya, it doesn't control the oil at all. First, 4 hours pa lang niya is very oily na. Mukha na kayong frying pan. Yan. So, may recommend ko ba ang powder na to? Ang sagot is, if kung kayo ay isang busy na tao, like, gusto nyo lang ng mabili isang makeup na ayaw nyo masyadong mag-effort, pero gusto nyo magmukhang presentable, then this is for you. Yung tipong hindi kayo masyadong magtatagal sa labas, mga 2 hours, 3 hours, yung pupunta lang kayo ng palengke or somewhere. If you are a working person that you will be out for like 10 hours, tapos you are super oily, then lumayo kayo sa product nito. Think twice, thrice, four times before you buy this product. Because you might not like it. Pero all in all, I am disappointed with this product kasi I have high hopes for this one kasi uh, I would like it to work so much na tipong pwede ko nang palitan yung MAC. I don't have to buy that expensive powder. I can stick with this one. Pero I don't I don't think I can use this for a long time. Siguro I'll still come back to MAC. Yun. Yan. So hopefully nakatulong ang review na ito. Sana nagustuhan nyo aking video. At abangan nyo pa ang mga darating kong video. Yun. Thank you and bye-bye.